Education is not the learning of facts, rather it is a training of the mind to think. A very warm good afternoon to one and all present here. I am Ishan Lujin and today I will be speaking with you. A very important topic of discussion. So before I get into more about the topic, I want all of you to stop thinking now and ask yourself, what is the most exciting, most lovable thing that you learned this year? Tech, talk. If you don't have an answer in a second, don't worry, we totally understand because that just puts you in the 90% of people who are listening to me right now. Estimates show that 90% of students don't love what they're studying. Maybe they don't find a good reason to love studies. Maybe they don't find a good motivation to love studies. Maybe they don't find the right reason to love studies. I know the cliche, study well and you'll get a good job, a good salary, a good life. I know these lines have lost its motivation long back and now it all feels like burden. Maybe that's keeping you from studying. Maybe you just feel that it's all burden. But I will tell you, the real reason to love studies, the real cost of education. So I will be referring to them as the three gifts of education. So for me to explain to you the first gift of education, I want you to stop thinking and ask yourself, when was the first time I went to kindergarten? And then I want you to go more into the memory and remember the day. You were, it was your first day of kindergarten. You were used to being sheltered by your parents and then suddenly you were in a crowd of kids your same age. And when you looked around, your parents were nowhere to be seen. You were afraid. You probably cried. But after some time, you got used to it. After some time, you found friends there. And after some time, your teacher started to teach you. She taught you the letter A. And then suddenly you realize the voices and the sounds that your parents and elders make can be written. It was like an enlightenment moment. I know all of you are thinking I'm just making a big fuss of the incident and I'm just make exaggerating it. But no, when these things happen in our life, it, ha it all happens with the same level of wonder and awe that I'm referring to right now. You went home. You started recognizing the letter A everywhere in your father's newspaper, in your mother's magazine. And you had this special feeling inside you. That was called self-respect. Because you were feeling like you were becoming like your parents. And a child's greatest dream is to become like their parents. Then you started feeling elder to your younger brother or sister because now you knew things they didn't. And that feeling was, was maturity. And the values you got from the simple letter A go on and on. This same scenario on a large scale is seen when a person completes his high.